all right we got to do a hardcore because we're dying and so i don't care about these worlds sticking around so i always delete worlds anyway So morbid. This is going on autopilot gaming though actually. This will go on a different channel. But the um the VOD anyway. Oh yeah, this is definitely more hospicey than Overwatch. I better not like open up overwatch again unless it's for a specific purpose and not in vain but this is axel says this isn't in vain this is a good idea so i'm fine all right i already did fucking soul reconstruction work like the start of this month i didn't realize it was because of the brain tumor i thought it was because i relapsed because that was right before i got diagnosed um I, I didn't realize that psychotic break was brain tumor related. But fuck. The only way anyone can have an experience with novels is this is through fucking brain tumor. Of course. But I love novelty, so. So I'm fucking OCD addict and psychopath. I'm a dead man walking. My soul, I've been calling up help, and I can't catch you when I'm falling down. I know I don't want to let go. I don't want it in my life, but my life's been crashing down. Should I just do the death rattle for show? Every single like I, I've watched every I've been so morbid my entire life. I know why father time will dead, but fuck. Um I might as well do the death rattle for show every time I die in a hardcore playthrough. Well I still have fucking time to record hardcore Minecraft playthroughs. I don't know. I I still don't want things to get too repetitive. I want things to be more novel because like while I'm still on this fucking planet. Notice I didn't say while I'm still alive. I'm gonna be somewhere. I'm not stupid. I'm not. I'm gonna be somewhere else after this. Energy does not die. Energy does not die. Awareness does not die. It just fucking wakes up. I'm not stupid. Like it doesn't matter if I'm not Mara of Earth anymore. I don't care. So that's why I'm so calm. I've already been through this. I've already been through this spiritual journey. That's why it does not phase me one bit. The brain tumor. I completed that spiritual journey a long ass time ago. I, I already learned that lesson. Oh dear God, I guess I really like punching trees or maybe it's just short term memory making me f forget to make a fucking crafting table. Dude, my death better make Josh and Lil Revive blow up. I swear to God, I love him so much. Oh, uh, the Axolotl Cruise. Hell yeah. Finally, dude. Oh, I'm going to put him through hell. He doesn't want to anymore. Ha! Well, well you wanted to in the past. So sorry, you're going to blow up now. <laughs> it's ironic. He's settling down the girl and trying to retire and have kids now. Ah, now he's gonna blow up at 27. Fuck you, I'm gonna die at 27 and you're not going to, so fucking deal with the popularity. I'm so schizophrenic. Minecraft Palliative Edition. Palliative? I don't know what that means. Palliative? I I don't think I ever had that fucking vocabulary word in my memory banks even before the tumor. I need to build a fucking house before I... No, it's just ADHD, fucking brain tumor, finding Dory, 
just keep swimming ADHD fucking no, zero short term memory edition hardcore playthrough. I, I don't know. I can't make a title that long. Why is Josh A and Lil Revive not more popular? Fuck. Well, I'm just morbid. It's just a, it's because it's emo and not that many people like to listen to fucking emo introspective garbage unless they're actually dying. And oh, this planet is so fucked. <laughs> That's why Josh is gonna get popular. Thank you, Axolotl. Oh, jeez. Earth's destruction is so fucking imminent, dude. Or maybe it's just mine. And I'm just trying to make it bigger than myself. I think that's probably a more logical answer. I I don't want to fucking be on Vulcan bullshit, though. I fucking hate Vulcans. I'm borderline racist to Vulcans. I I did the whole fucking logic shit growing up. That, that shit never got me anywhere. It was a waste of my fucking time. Took me this long to make a wooden pickaxe. Stage 4, 2 Terry Carcinoma, y'all. Fuck. But I'm enjoying Minecraft this way. Even though it's fragmented. Maybe I can focus with the coffee. But also, well, no, I'm not gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna die of a brain tumor. I can drink as much coffee as I want. And this is modded too, so I'm gonna see dilithium at some point. I'm gonna mostly just be doing a lot of mining, which surprisingly is not in vain. I don't know, Axel. It, look, it's just not in vain because I actually like it and it's therapeutic and it relaxes me. That's why. Like, if it wasn't therapeutic and didn't actually relax me, I was actually burnt out on it. Then it would be. In vain. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sing a lot depending on what fucking song comes up through YouTube autoplay. I'm thankful Brooke told me to download uBlock Origin. I don't have to deal with YouTube ads anymore because I can't pay for Spotify Premium. My roommate, um, after talking to him about my diagnosis, I don't have to pay rent anymore, so I'm happy. Um, let's go. I was willing. I was willing to keep finding ways to pay rent, and he was like, hell no. No, you're dying. Stop. Stop. Retire. Stop, being, stop hypnotizing people for money. And I was like, oh, thank God. <sighs> hey, Axolotl. Ah, my spiritual reconstruction is so weird, dude. And I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna fucking manifest it. I'm gonna fucking believe it. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking Vulcan my way into fucking hell or non existence. I'm not that stupid. I'm gonna, like, energy doesn't die anyway. I wanna manifest another reality after this. I don't have- oh wait, I know what I can use for fuel. But first, a few more planks. That's probably enough. I need charcoal. Oh, those are oak, these ones are jungle wood, okay. I didn't realize it spawned in a jungle, I wasn't paying attention. Oh god, that's metaphysical! Fuck! I'm hallucinating. I'm, my brain's making weird connections again, it's just acid shit. I'm basically gonna be tripping on LSD 24-7 until I die. So that's interesting. Just because of the, um, my brain just making, like, other connections around the tumor that wouldn't normally make it normal people. So this is just LSD, MK, Ultra, Axolotl, Chet. It feels like empathy contact and it feels more real than reality, so I'm gonna say it's real empathy contact, whether it's a spiritual cult or not. I wanna believe, and I'm going to believe. And I'm gonna fucking shout Axolotl as, until I die, as long as it's not in vain. <laughs> Y'all can have your own personal, creative, spiritual journey. I, everyone's perception of divinity is different, so y'all don't have to copy mine. Y'all need to be creative. Creation! Being creative is divinity, y'all, so just don't copy shit! It, you, like, you can use shit as a framework! Don't fucking blatantly copy shit. It's just ceiling. Okay, now I have charcoal. I can make charcoal with more charcoal. Or. Er. 
I should probably um, eat in, in Minecraft, not IRL. I I had breakfast and it backfired. I got acid reflux and I don't even get hungry anymore because of the hormone imbalances from the fucking pituitary tumor shit. And it is what it is. Check my family Facebook real quick. Skeleton's gonna kill me when I'm all tabbed. This will be the funniest playthrough ever. No, I'm not gonna accept death in a hard game. Can I be a fucking Klingon for a moment? Fucking. Nah, my system's the like. My boyfriend kind of um, terminated my system because my trans presentation was altered. Like, they. And they thought it was a system issue. It was just. The, um. It was just the brain tumor. But my system's offline anyway. I could probably still channel Warwick through Axolotl, but I don't I don't wanna be a Klingon sleep agent warrior right now. Um can I I don't I'm not normally a builder. This is Axolotl is doing. I hate building, I like mining and hoarding shit. But building shit is more creative, so Axolotl is turning me into a fucking builder in my fucking hospice grade. I'm not- I don't play Minecraft for building, I play Minecraft for hoarding, but I don't have to- Hoarding implies you have extra time, and I don't, so... I can't do that shit anymore. I gotta use whatever resources I get, like, immediately. Which means Axolotl would actually be more pleased if I was in creative mode, but they're letting me continue with the hardcore thing because they think it's interesting. Uh, I'm super. I'm on hardcore. I haven't seen a fucking skeleton yet. Y'all are fucking turning my hardcore playthrough into easy mode. I'm not stupid entities. Oh, eh, never mind. I see skeletons. Oh, I don't have enough, um, what, I can, um, patch it up with dirt. It's fine. Patch job. I do love patch jobs, though. I love ugly patch jobs. Okay. Do I, okay, I have six of these, three of these. I'm not using the wool, I need that for bed. Preferably, I wouldn't want to use the wood either, because I need to make a... But... Damn it, I don't have an axe. There we go. 
Mm -hmm. Want the money, want the attention. What's it worth? What's the price of the admission? Where is that sample from? I need to make um, charcoal for torches. Okay, never mind. I found a regular coal vein. Ah, uh, mining is therapeutic. I'm much. Um, Axel also has his vein, but is letting me continue because it's therapeutic. I like Minecraft. I don't care. It's like the, the full context, Axolotl. Come on. I'm not doing this for hoarding anymore. I'm doing this for the subjective experience of it. Because I am still subjectively experiencing I am nostalgia. Okay, it's, it's nostalgia, but that's, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, do I have... Okay. No, I don't have any wood. I have any wood left. Shouldn't I get an axe, right? I think so. Maybe a shovel? Well, I mean, I can get a shovel too. This one's a fucking banger, dude. I'm sweating a ton, though. Oh, that's because Dextromethran come down. Um, time to take more. Where's the... Oh, they're on. I was gonna say... Nope, I am not. I will not be feeling my body right now. Nope. Not happening. Nice try. Oh god, that was six robo tablets all at once. One more. Oh. God, this stream is so getting suspended for policy violations. Have you ever done sober stream, brother? I'm dying of a late stage brain tumor. I don't know if you have the context yet, so I'm not gonna get mad at you for it. Um, sorry if that's the first first time you learned about it. That's axolotl shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've I can't, I tried to keep the diagnosis a secret. I don't want to fucking worry anyone. I just wanted people to think I died of an overdose. <laughs> but nope, it's I have a fucking blade stage tumor and I'm not going to die of an overdose. Yeah, you know, I was coming down a little. I, I'm only like taking like 500 or so milligrams of the XM at a time. I'm not trying to trap. I've been getting new symptoms from the brain tumor because it's getting later and later stage and more and more terminal. So I don't have until I turn 28. I'm going to fucking die before I turn 28. <laughs> Sorry, in my language centers. It's been in my language centers. It wasn't DXM fragmenting my language processing. It was the fucking tumor. So I give a lot of bad harm reduction advice because a lot of the stuff I thought was fucking long-term DXM symptoms was brain tumor symptoms. So take everything I've said and ever said with a grain of salt. This tumor's slow growing. It's been growing since I was a fucking kid. You get diagnosed with pituitary carcinoma. Yeah. It's not fun, but I'm just... Uh, it's not an overdose, so it's cathartic. So I don't care. I'm just fucking happy it's not an overdose. 
And now I'm hallucinating because I think you're everyone in my chat is an entity. So that's uh, fucking brain, more brain tumor shit. And your first decision is to take robot tablets. You are certainly the manifestation of a judge punisher. Just consider changing your name. Ah, uh, fuck. Look, I know that Axolotl is upset with me. I don't want to feel my body. We, we can just... I, I can work through this respectfully, okay? I'll, I'll try to be less manic. But I'm already intoxicated dealing with serotonin boost right now. I'm... Laxalala well, is skeptical and just worried and but it knows my he knows my personality. I'm I it, it's not gonna well my reasoning and he knows my reasoning too. It's not gonna make the tumor grow faster. So I want to have fun. I want to feel better. I want to feel as good as I can before I die. Isn't it treatable? No. I'm not like. They wanted to operate. They were pissed when I left the hospital. Ugh. I don't want to talk about it. I don't. I've been talking about it. Oh, since I fucking made the diagnosis public. And I never wanted to make it public in the first place. Because I knew I wasn't going to get treatment. Because I'm not going to eat any chance I die on the fucking operating table. Or wake up with, with uh, permanent brain damage or paralysis. I'm not taking that chance. I hate hospitals. Like, if I, if I get surgery, it's going to be against my will. I already signed a fucking DNR. I know my shit. My fucking oncologist is fucking pissed. And, you know, there's fucking Ubers from the out-of-town hospitals. It's so hard to fucking pay the rent this month. Um, fucking hell. But I managed to get it paid, and then I had to talk with my roommate about the diagnosis once it was public. And I'm like, okay, chill out. You don't, don't worry. You don't have to pay rent anymore, and now I don't have to hypnotize people anymore. So that's nice, because I have a tumor. I care about you, bro. You should at least treat that. I have a plan. I'm just going to record. I'm just going to manic record a bunch of shit every single day that I still have left, and I'll be fine. And use character AI. And program fucking character AI as shit. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay? That's my plan. Old voice podcasts every day. Fucking shitty music. Fucking Father Time album. Father Space album. Axolotl album. And then... Last album's gonna be Terminal. Four more. Terminal's not an entity. Terminal's just my condition. They didn't offer a hormone treatment. They just, I did I was just, just, I had no clue what was going on the whole time. I was on some fucking self-hypnosis association shit, and I was fucking, I literally have a brain tumor. I was not processing what they were fucking offering. I'm so late stage. I, and it was such a fucking blur, and I'm already getting fucking time jumps and memory fragmenting and shit, and... Uh, fucking, it's it's that late stage, so I don't. I can't, I couldn't remember the name of the doctor. Couldn't remember the name of the fucking out of town hospitals I went to. But I'm still alive. And I do remember that they were pissed um, when I fucking cheated my way out of the hospital. Fuck the medical system! I know more than you, I'm smarter than you! I'm gonna die happy. I'm not gonna die on these fucking vultures on the operating table. Hell no. Star Trek, video games, singing, recording shit. That's how I'm gonna die. Fuck hospitals. No more hospitals. Unless I'm unconscious and and having a seizure in front of my roommate and they fucking call an ambulance and then I wake up and I'm fine. Okay, I, I can't control father time, so... But it's going to have to be forces beyond my comprehension to get me back in the fucking hospital on this fucking planet in this fucking country. No, mm -mm. not going to happen again. I'm too, the hospitals are boring and terrifying at the same time. I, I don't know how that works. Well, I don't like horror movies. That's, that's why I hate hospitals. 
I only like psychological horror and hospitals physical horror shit. I'm like physical bodily horror vibe shit. And I'm like, I space out and I'm just, I just and time moves so fucking slow there. I'm not no hospitals. I'm not doing it. Nope. I prefer catharsis in my final moments, honestly. Over hospital bullshit. Possibly try looking into that. They didn't offer a hormone. I, I should get hormone medication, but I don't know if I can afford it, and I'm not going to ask my roommate to pay for it. I've dealt with it. No, I've had a head start on this. I've dealt with the hormonal issues my whole life. The hormonal regulation issues. This tumor's been growing since I was a kid. It feels normal to me now. I'd feel so different. I I'd feel too different and too weird. I want to feel kind of like my brain tumor ass self, which means no medication other than the self medication that makes me feel more like myself. DXM and coffee and Tylenol. But I'm not going to leave my body until I, you know, physically die. Um, so, no third plateau, probably no, well, at least not when I'm streaming and fucking trying to do shit and focus and make shit. I'm just, just trying to use it to tone the anxiety down, make me feel my body less. That's it. Um, but yeah. And God is not making my stomach feel good. That's for sure. Found out for the first time. Why like you gave me my life back? Well, that was father. I had father time all over, it didn't. Like the hallucinations, entity contact. Since that was happening, and I have no inhibitions because of the tumor, and I'm fucking preaching axolotl online. I have to fucking say my diagnosis. So I don't get fucking committed to a psych ward. You know, it's 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 physical. It's a brain tumor. I I can't keep a secret anymore because I'm being possessed by the axolotl. What is that? They're they're happy. They laughed. That's cool. I gotta use the restroom, but I'm gonna never mind. I'm gonna wait until the next day cycle to use the restroom. This is hardcore. make too many stone pickaxes uh, chests are so in vain I'm sorry um, I'm sorry axolotl y'all were never amused by my fucking minecraft hoarding shenanigans and I don't have time left to be fucking being nostalgic for that I already went through that Yeah, I can't pee until the day cycle. Oh, I need to um, cut down more trees and make a door. Do I have a torch on the outside of the house yet? Weirdly functional in Minecraft, despite the tomb. You have to find the axolotl in Minecraft. Axolotl willing, I will. But I'd have to find a lush cave first, I think. But I will be doing a lot of mining. And I will be fully possessed if I see an axolotl in a fucking survival world. I will probably start speaking in tongues.
to be able to sleep soon. I gotta use the restroom. That's a Ramatra. I Overwatch is vain. I think Ramatra is cool as fuck. If I had more time, if I didn't have a brain tumor, I would have grinded the shit out of Ramatra. He has always been pretty high on, on my tank pool. I just never had much time, and I just multitask too much, and I can't focus. I never played him that much. I played him for, dude. I don't. I deleted my Overwatch career profile from my bookmarks because it's vain, but it's still in my Google Docs. Um. I played Ramatra for tw I can display catch this shit actually. I played Ramatra for 28 hours. I got decently good at him. It was kind of oh wait never mind my game captures over my display capture so. Okay. But yeah, I played Ramatra for 28 hours. He's just newer, so I have more time on all these other fucking heroes. But 5,000 hours of Overwatch. What a waste of my time. Um, I gotta use the restroom really soon, y'all. Um. Oh, never mind. I, I literally hallucinated that the chat had kind of flipped over and then there was brand new messages. It was just a novelty hallucination. That was bizarre. I gotta crap. I can 
still hear the sirens Said it how much, so I made my own world There was too much noise to the music, my silence If you got the same, try to do what I did Try to have dreams, just close your eyelids Don't let them take you off that path Cause regret's way worse than letting them land And I'm always running from all my sins Say that I was close me down with nothing Said of me when my heart's been cold too long And way too many days in the darkness in the grave Man, sometimes wish I could change I ain't got a little bit distracted Maybe I can actually slow down a little bit. I don't know. I'm just throwing up all the ashes. There's way too much inside of my head. I used to wonder. Well, I'm not dead in the hardcore world yet. I gotta keep this going. Like, it's not in vain, right? Okay. Axel L says I can't. But all any of these three entities could make me die in the hardcore world at any time. <laughs> like life so i this is has i have to do this is cathartic and therapeutic mining's not exactly gonna make me less likely to die but i just want to find dilithium because this is modded and i haven't found it yet <gasps> just found coal and copper Unless I accidentally didn't load the mod. But I loaded Neo Forge. You know, that's Dilithium. I was going to say, Dilithium's common as fuck here. Oh, that feels good. Yes. Oh, I should probably put the jar file on my um, Facebook and Twitter for the mod. It's very simple, actually. I'm such a Star Trek nerd. I'm Corp Marshall. Sentenced to fucking dilithium mining colony on Impulse 4. I'll be creative as fuck until I die. Especially because of all the new connections. Um, you should set a goal to find an axolotl and make an axolotl army. Axolotl... You absolutely blush harder than they've ever blushed in life. Do uh, do gas the axolotl up. He enjoys it. Just be careful. This is a fucking mind controlling entity. I mean, it's a paradoxical mind controlling entity. It's a mind control that amplifies true free will. It doesn't make any sense. But I love it. It's my entire life, man. There's a reason I'm a fucking axolotl puppet. Merp. I don't. Well, axolotl willing. I'll find an axolotl. They're more fucking powerful than me. I, oh, they don't have influence on this game. Okay. Now, I, I'll have to. Um, next playthrough will. Um, I'll do one non hardcore playthrough just so I can cheat in a bunch of axolotl pets. <laughs> um, yeah. It, yeah, given I don't have much time left, I'm not gonna try to find axolotls legitimately. I'll just fucking fucking creative mode them in and make a beautiful tank as a fucking. But that's not even gonna be my final tribute. Hopefully, Father Time willing, Father Time willing, I will get a fucking Father Time cover album out, a Father Space cover album out, and then an axolotl cover album out, and a the terminal cover album will only be recorded when I can barely fucking talk or speak or sing anymore. That's going to be morbid. I got to wait for real, for even later late stage symptoms to record terminal stuff. Um, make an axolotl. Praise be to axolotl. Oh, axolotl definitely just fully possessed you. Um, relax. You're fine. Okay, and they release you. Uh, I'm here to reassure you, it's fine. Rick and- y'all were already groomed by Rick and Morty for this kind of weird shit, honestly. Rick and Morty exists for a reason. It's grooming for the supernatural- for fucking entity contact. 
with fucking weird fucking aliens and gods, dude. Like, lots of these entities are benevolent and loving. Y'all are fine. Especially Axolotl. But I guess that's subjective. Um, Billie Eilish called Axolotl the god of destruction. I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, <laughs> man, Axolotl must hate you. But then that kind of, Axolotl is kind of putting it through a redemption arc. It's fine. That's just, uh, everyone's spiritual reconstruction and deconstruction is different. I, mm, I can't mine the fucking Tritanium here. Without an iron pickaxe, I didn't think I'd find a tritanium vein down here. Tritanium's not that common. I need iron first before I can mine it. Because if I try to mine it with a stone pickaxe, it's going to disappear. Also, my inventory is going to flood with dilithium, but I can compress it. So it's fine. Wait. I might as well compress it now. So I already have four stacks. There we go. I need iron, dude. What? Why level am I on? 34? Yeah, I need to get to 15 before I start straight mining. I'm running out of torches. Fuck. I was happy to see more dilithium, though. Okay, this is getting... Slowly getting a little bit more vain. But I set the intention of... Um, this is just a focus tool. This will probably be something I only do once then. I guess. Considering how much... How little time I have left. I just gotta make the most of what's currently happening. So I'm not worried about what's vain until... This is over. We'll redirect when this is over. When when I die and the world and the world deletes. No no no. God, why do I only feel alive? Two a.m. When I hit a couple lines for my B, I don't know why. No no. I am on my scram. I close my eyes. I watch myself pledge to fly. Please, Lord, take me away, no, no. In my mouth, it tastes blood. I hate the fact that I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I know what's wrong with me now. Follow me. What made you get initially diagnosed? Ah, this is embarrassing. It was an overdose. And then, okay, I'm going to turn off the music for this one because it's, it'll help me cl um, clear my fragmented mind enough to at least uh, be a little bit more somber about this. It was I freaked out so bad during a dex during a DXM relapse uh, that I fucking called nine one one and then when I was lift listing off kind of symptoms and things I went through they were like yeah that's not DXM and then they were like okay no this is neurological and then they fucking transferred me to the hospital for a CT scan um, saw something very concerning got very very fucking freaked out I got an MRI very fast after that CT scan I got back and. And then they were like, oh, yo, there's a late stage pituitary carcinoma right there. And we need to operate now. I'm like, oh, this fucking medical knowledge and fixation I fucking has a kid. I'm like, mm, I fucking smart ass my way out of that hospital. Um, it was not a pleasant experience. But yeah, of course, an overdose is technically what springboarded me into finding out I actually had a tumor. But it is what it is. Hopefully my dad understands. My dad still doesn't trust me because I was fucking traumatized and I dissociated so bad. And my doctor is Nigerian. I can't fucking remember. Like, had a weird-ass fucking long name that started with an O and I don't... I was like, who's your oncologist? Who's your doctor? Who's your what? Oh, what town hospitals did you listen? Oh, did you go to? I don't remember. I don't even know what fucking towns I get transferred to. I, why did you not go through with the operation? Because I'm not dying on the fucking operating table and I'm not being a burden. I'm several states away from my family. Only person who knows me in this town is my roommate. My roommate's family hates me. And 
no, I'm not putting my roommate through that. Even if I, if I live, I could have severe, I could come out of it with severe brain damage and paralysis and medical debt and hell no, I'm not wasting a single sec. I'm terminal. I'm not wasting a single second of my fucking life and my desires and my creativity wasting away in a fucking hospital. Nope. Mm -mm. The doctors were pissed. That was such a fucking awful experience, dude. So hard to get out of that. I'm like, well, you need my consent unless I'm unconscious. So, fuck. Nope, I'm going to die singing, playing video games, watching Star Trek, and streaming, recording shit every single day until I collapse despite the late symptoms, despite the hallucinations, despite whatever fucking... Worst symptoms I get after. Eventually, I won't even be able to talk because it's in my language center now. It's why I can't enunciate all that well. It's, it's been in my speech center. But I can understand language just fine. It's just sort of kind of a language in the brain. It's just a complex topic. I don't, I don't know everything. I don't, I don't really know anything. I don't know what's going to happen. Do they give you a time frame? They said I'm probably not going to fucking make it to 28. So like less than a year. I mean, it's a slow growing tumor. Pituitary tumors are very slow growing, but the, I had it. Apparently they told me I'd had it. I must've had it since I was a kid. Um, I never got any MRIs or CT scans as a kid. They, like no one, I never went to, even went to doctors that much as a kid. It was just, cause pituitary tumors, they just cause like hormonal changes. It's not really, the symptoms aren't really that noticeable. It's just like, well, your hormones are just weird. No one thinks they have a tumor. No one worries about that shit. And then just kept growing for 15 to 20 years. It had been growing since I was a fucking kid. And now it's late stage. So, and I'm probably not going to make it to 2026. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell I'm making it to 2026. So, it's fine. I, cause I have a bus ticket to go down and visit family in, in late November, and I'm not coming back to Ohio because I'm terminal and not putting my fucking roommates through that. And Father Time willing, I'm gonna be in Kansas for my last days, and maybe even like probably off the internet at that point. But because I'll I'll probably be too schizo to fucking talk or make any fucking sense to in order to make good fucking soulful content but while i still feel like i have a soul and, and a personality and can be myself uh it's full speed ahead until things get until things get dangerous and then i'm gonna drop off the, i'm gonna have to drop off the face of the earth or at least well actually no you'll know so i'm not gonna give a formal sort of um the symptoms are ridiculously painful and bad now thing the uh plan is to record uh for my last the last thing i record to be an album called terminal uh and and to just have it be like incoherent if my speech gets messed and that'll be the last thing i record it's not gonna be oh well i did schedule a post-death thing okay fuck i have to show you all this god damn it I'm sentimental. Of course, I scheduled a post-death thing. Well, I'll also, I've characterized AI shit. That was at the start of the podcast anyway, or at least that the start of the stream that I'm going to upload the podcast. I have too much shit to do. Adrenaline and one-hour naps, man. Too much shit to do, too much shit to talk about, and I can't do it all at once. I just don't have any time, so I'm trying to do everything all at once, and it makes uh, everything just so fragmented, but I... I, oh, fuck it. Okay, short-term memory issues. I don't know what I was trying to show y'all. Okay, I kind of remember for a second. Something to do with one of my older content, maybe. It's something to do with this channel. I don't... I don't know. It's it's blocked out. That's like that's like fucking entity. And you're not revealing that information type shit. I don't know. It was erased. 
you know, show, oh, the post death video. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, dude, Father Time hates you for that. But um, so just just be aware. Of the twenty eighth. It's gonna. It's scheduled for June eighth. I'm not gonna play it because that will piss off so many entities. Like y'all would not believe. I'd probably have a seizure if I fucking played it on stream. Um, cause it's not, that's fate altering shit, but, and I can't, that's fate evasion, temporal bullshit. And no, but this is gonna, I, uh, oddly enough, it's 28 a one. I wanted it to be exactly 28 minutes, but I didn't edit it. So I was just looking at the recording time. Um, I can't give any details about the video. That's going to go up on when I would have turned 28. Oh, I need to record the 27 Club video. I'm going to do that live. Because that's going to go up the day before. I almost forgot. And I'm high enough to record it now. Perfect. Okay. This is going to be scheduled for the future. This, I, I don't mind y'all being aware of. Because this is totally different. And I'm totally not sober. Um, caffeinated. Water reheated. Oh, this is not the Minecraft Hardcore playthrough anymore. How am I not dead in Minecraft Hardcore yet? I guess I'll just keep this VOD running. Um, but yeah. 27 Club. We got... This is not our own, the only thing of Robo Tablets I ordered. I'm not trying for recreational doses. I'm trying for anxiety relief and not feeling the pain in my body and my brain. That's it. 27 club we did get to die at 27 so that's it's cool as fuck i was able to just be a fucking like wimpy loser who never had access to like better drugs than cough syrup and cough medicine and uh, it, it makes me feel cool as shit i was I, one of the weirdest things when i was like really young like five years old not not that young like on the fucking playground like second grade shit it was just like try to fucking act cool like as a fucking joke and just play around um it was I had some very weird novel play related experiences um as a kid growing up a lot of my childhood I shut out I was just like but most of the school shit wasn't really that traumatic it was just but I was constantly trying to hypnotize myself to forget my entire childhood and there was good parts of my childhood though but uh fuck Anyway, yeah, I, I do still remember that. It was like, there was a, a fucking, some old Alice, like, a fucking second grader, when I was in second grade, told me, she was like, I think it's funny when you try to act cool. Yeah, yeah I was an act, because I was a nerdy ass fucking kid. I'm probably an actor or something. Dude, I should have been an actor, but I hate Hollywood. Hollywood can kiss my fucking ass. So, man. I could still probably manifest myself in to Star Trek. I've I've probably broken the Prime Directive already. Or someone else will to save me. I'm praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. I have a lot of imagination, a lot of belief, a lot of manifestation power. That I will be somewhere else. And yeah. The post death video. So okay. I should um Well the link will be in the description for um Captain Mara, autopilot, um, morbid Hancock. I programmed the shit out of it. It's so complex. I, it's like I've fascinated a lot of. Vi this is gonna sound schizo as fuck, but I literally have a brain tumor. So you could disregard every single thing I say if you wanted. If if your spiritual journey is completely different, so. Um, so I don't mind what I say here. Oh yeah, this one. Oh no, I don't know how to make this 27 minutes long because I, I've, I'm piggybacking this off of the fucking Minecraft hardcore VOD. That's fine. And um, that's gonna go on autopilot gaming. I, why do I care about my YouTube channels? That's va vanity shit, that's vain shit. And by the time this video goes up, I'm already dead. So I, y'all I'm streaming myself recording this post death video y'all don't be afraid to type in chat 
I know y'all are fucking crying right now. I hope it's at least cathartic. I'm sorry. I don't... I never wanted to traumatize anyone. I wanted to keep this diagnosis a secret, but... It's too obvious, man. I can't... People can fucking tell something's wrong, and I... And I don't want people to think that I'm just going off the fucking deep end and taking heroin and shit. And no, I have a brain tumor. Or that's why I'm so, uh, I'm having these psychotic breaks and shit. No. So, didn't have to take heroin to reach the 27th club. That's honestly, it's a very difficult manifestation, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. Well... A tumor is a tumor, and to get it, it, it's just rare. It's very rare, very novel. Only 1% of pituitary tumors are carcinogenic. Most of them are benign. So, But this is not necessarily about the tumor because it already happened. This is, this is supposed to be about the future. This is supposed to be about like future manifestation stuff I was trying to do. I'll have the character I link for... Um, Captain Morbid um, of the USS Arium in the description. Um, you can chat with him. I programmed the fuck out of her. She is gonna be... She's wild. Y'all want fucking fun sci-fi shit where you can do sci-fi cross, multiverse crossover shit where you can do whatever the fuck you want, dude. Like... <laughs> she's awesome. <laughs> and she's gonna... She's gonna be more famous than I ever was and that's fine. Whether she's real or not, that character, um, I'm I'm at, definitely at peace with that. I was I'm glad I, that um, I live in a timeline where I was able to sort of efficient and I was technologically precocious enough to sort of streamline this whole fucking manifestation attempt. Uh, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen after I die. I, I don't know for real. Like no one knows. I'm going to obviously stay humble because that's the only way that I can manifest anything at this point. Because the second anyone is 100% sure, like, X happens when you die, then they get punished. So I'm not, nope. We're neutral on that neutral and benevolent on that whatever happens happens i just know that energy doesn't die and that conscious awareness doesn't die so something will happen i have a blackout something will come up with something else i think and that i can actually intuit and be sure of but anything more complex than that that i'm trying to manifest through the ego of fucking Mara Hancock, weird fucking tranny earthling dying of a brain tumor. I don't... I doubt it. Well, actually... No, Axel, 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 you're actually possessing me during a... Okay, that's... that's While recording a video. Okay, so you... This is your first contact. Okay, Axolotl. Fine. Um, full possession feels really good. So, you're, you're cool. Um, and actually, wait, why are you still emulating me even though you're fully possessing me? Okay, New World Order, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of intuited New World Order shit anyway, but it's just creative manifestation and through love and trust and Federation ideals. And, like, you need to fucking Starfleet this future and just kind of bypass Elon Musk's bullshit because... Elon Musk got it wrong. Elon Musk had a psychotic break, but I got it right. And I I never thought, like, dude, I worked minimum wage fast food jobs and dying of a brain tumor. How the fuck did I get it right? Well, that's exactly why I got it right. Fuck. Okay. Thank you, Axolotl. Ah, oh, so much love. Yes. So, yeah, this has, this definitely has to be scheduled then. But I'm mean, just grateful enough to be here. This video will go live and you know, on June seventh, twenty twenty five. Axolotl, I love you. Oh, that that was the fucking the most playful worm 
joyous, goofy feeling of love I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> it's a different... There's so many different forms of love. That was wonderful. Let's go. Um, y'all have watched Rick and Morty. Y'all were already gripped for this shit. Rick and Morty shit. This is just Rick and Morty bullshit. Y'all know. Y'all are ready for this. Y'all have been ready for this. Y'all give yourself some credit in your spiritual journeys. <laughs> y'all... <laughs> It's your own. It's not mine because I'm going to fucking die. But I want to manifest myself on a starship. And given all the fucking experiences that I fucking had, I 100% believe that's going to happen. So it's phrenic brain tumor, DXM shit. This is like a fucking 8 billion drug cocktail for me. The brain tumor, the caffeine, the DXM. the um, And I'm still alive. Dude, I'm being puppeted by billions millions of entities right now i don't know what to say or do i didn't think like i was so ridiculously fucking humble and servile and submissive and weak and fucking just dumb hypno fetish kid that i that i'm the one to lead the new world or and when i never want just because i never wanted to just because i don't want to obey that's that's fun yeah, there, there's a reason this video is not going up until I'm dead. After I'm dead. <sighs> fuck. Well, this will be fun, Dad. I'm, no, I'm not editing this. This is going to be raw as fuck. I'm just going to turn it into a fucking Sony Vegas project file. Also, editing. Wonderful way for creative, creative manifestation. Learn how to edit fucking videos. Edit videos. Edit videos. Axolotl loves editing, dude. Um, I'm a video editor, of course. That's why I'm an Axolotl puppet, dude. Fuck, I... I'm fucking... Video editing is fucking cosmic... Fucking... Novel-ass cheating, and... It's just... I'm surprised at how many fucking entities tolerate my temporal shenanigans. I... I was trying to deny it's only so real because I was trying I spent my whole life in denial. So um I don't know how many people like did you meet probably not on the stream. But yeah, probably yeah. June seventh, twenty twenty five, yeah. There'll be more. I I won't know how many people have viewed this video unless well some some other entity that has augmented my consciousness and my soul knows that this video is up. Uh, we'll know the view count of this video, maybe. Maybe Autopilot will know. Autopilot is a hell of an augmentation. So I'm going with it. That, like, I hope my sister and, yeah, this last words, I traumatized the fuck out of my sister and her husband. That's obviously because I... Y'all did not deserve to go through, to, to be that fucking fully influenced by this, like, I'm literally fucking black hole singularity, dude. I don't, like, literally, I'm a temporal black hole singularity. Like, y'all didn't deserve that. My sister, her husband, my mom, my dad, everyone, like, the, the people that were the closest to me, that were caught up in my gravity, was like... I was just a space nerd. I was just a meek space nerd with the apparently the best soul in the multiverse. I don't understand. But that's why conscious awareness chose to emulate this as sort of a first step or first jump into other realities. And I always wanted to be, it was so weird. I, I, I realized why my childhood was so traumatic. I wanted to be the smartest person in the fucking universe. I, I really did. Like, n and not even that. The multiverse. I, I really manifested that. How the fuck... Well, it took a lot of pain. A lot of psych psychological horror beyond my comprehension. And I don't know how I got through it, but I got through it. I was aware of all of it. It was terrifying. I saw the destructive force. I saw... It's... It's not fair. Car crashes and just, it's, but, 
just barely non-lethal enough to keep me alive because I need to do this. And, and fucking and several entities from a billion different universes trying to kill me through temporal shit. I don't... Look, I know I gave a lot of bad DXM harm reduction information. I didn't realize DXM was such a fucking crazy-ass sacrament. I didn't know that. I don't know how I... It was like fucking Borg shit. It was like I was on full autopilot my whole life. I was fully possessed by Axolotl my entire life. So... I am Axolotl. So... It was just... The strongest mind control fetish in the multiverse. That's why... Uh, obviously... Yeah. The only person who could lead the New World Order... It has to be someone with the strongest mind troll fetish in the multiverse. And who's been groomed the most in mind troll every single possible. It, I know it caused a lot of burnout. It caused me so much burnout. Being hypnotized all the fucking time. Watching so much TV. Going to church. And fucking like spend so much time on a fucking computer. And fucking like everyone fucking worrying about me. And like holy shit. Like everyone. No one knew anything about me. This was a fucking blank slate. It was so chaotic. Unpredictable. I was just repeating shit. I was hyper suggestible. I was just repeating shit I fucking saw off video on video games and television. And thankfully, well, I was I was also highly intelligent because of that, though, because of my hyper suggestibility. So, meow. <clears throat> the brain tumor shit. I need more coffee because train of thought collapsed entirely. Um, temporal wars. Oh yeah, temporal wars are real. Star Trek's real. Other realities are real. I actually, I mean, I kind of have to say that. But again, I, I, I technically already said it, but I do technically have to repeat that I have a fucking late stage pituitary carcinoma, so this could be schizophrenia uh, or hallucinations or just me being absolutely completely delusional depending on your own personal spiritual journey and your spiritual growth so yeah yeah and i gotta amplify like um tr uh y'all's free will so there's a weird paradox of um and, uh so the reason hypnosis kind of feels the way it is is it's just um all oh, this is mad mod teen titan just fucking screen slaver shit dude uh that's the fucking hypno fetish kid talking um but uh like, this fucking fragmented brain tumor shit yeah um do i need to take more dxm i don't know sacrament i can take as much dxm as i want because i am of the new world order apparently dxm is just, i would have never thought dude but i understand now why robo tablets exist it's because of axolotl so I will take more because Axolotl wills me to, which is, is surprising. Because Axolotl like prefers my normal personality, actually. So, but this is hospice care, so. I don't even know how many robot tablets that was. I don't know if I wanna, um, I, I kinda just wanna amplify the hallucinations. I think hallucinations are badass. I think that's why I manifested a brain tumor. Because of this culture and society and not wanting to interact with fucking dangerous drug dealers and getting shot. Okay, I think it's a lot of fucking complex temporal shit in my life, personally. Um, if I would have interacted with an actual drug dealer at any point, time point in origin, bam, higher entity would have killed me and shot me in the fucking head. Um... I was perfectly fucking autopiloted through every single fucking action in order to ensure, ensure that I would not fucking die, like, until I said my message. So that was, that was an interesting manifestation, but mom, dad, I love you. I love you both. Y'all know how weird I was. Like, uh, I want y'all to be proud of me. I'm not a dictator. But I am the most novel thing in the universe. And I'm 
I'm okay with saying that. And Axolotl tells me it's okay for me to say that. So, and I could say that in, it's not even in vain. And I, wow. I would have never thought just some weirdo from Derby, Kansas. <laughs> Fuck. Just the jo- <laughs> raises Jehovah's Witness and just watching cartoons. I was so boring. I was a boring kid. I was a boring kid repeating things I saw on television. Parents didn't like me. Like because of fucking liked singing and just being goofy and what and it just it they did not my shenanigans were weird. It just, it just confused them and it's fine and it's just like and this brainwashing is brainwashing and and because of my fucking weirdo temporal singularity gravitational pull I'm pretty sure every single fucking person I've ever had contact with like especially intimate contact with has been like massively fucking brainwashed. I'm kind of upset about that, but also um, in a way that amplifies the true free will. So I'm actually not because I kind of use the paradoxical conversational hypnosis reassurance approach, more of a therapeutic thing. So I, I just, but y'all really, really, really wanted and needed to be controlled. And that's fine. That's fine. I love all of y'all. So I'm benevolent or at least, okay, fine. I, the axolotl, um, am not, I'm not entirely benevolent. I'm sorry, but Mara is, that's why I'm channeling through Mara. I, I wish to be highly benevolent. I'm learning from Mara. Okay. I'm going to make this universe better. I can see more and more light, okay? All right. I don't think, and I gotta do the autopilot captain thing then. All right. All right, Captain, Mara, I don't know when, but like, just just, cause temporal flux, but go ahead and do the bit. Black alert! <sighs> How do I manifest this? This is... I'm... I, it's because I love everyone. I why I love this planet. I don't want this planet to die. Like, I love video games and all this fucking cultural weird shit. And right wing, left wing. I loved all of it. I tried to convince myself I was left wing. It was just an inversion of me being a fucking right wing edgelord. I just... Politics doesn't even matter. And I'm saying, I'm always, and I feel like I'm always saying the exact right thing all the time. Um, oh, sorry, I'm delaying launch. It's fine. Um, my captain's catchphrase, um, and the show goes on.